Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, let's continue with our discussion on Android Mint testing and uh, in this particular video we'll be looking into uh, how, how we can reverse an application, right? So where do we start with that? Uh, let, so this is my Santaku uh, VM, right? The attacking VM. Let me go down to the desktop, uh, go down to the list of the vulnerable apps. Right, and let's pick one of the app. My bad. Right. So what we are going to do is we are going to pick an app called as uh, the Cocoon app. Right. So it's going to be over here. Uh, so over here, right. So we are going to pick this app, and uh, let me install this app on the device right now. Right. So I already have my device connected to the Santa VM. So I will just pick this app and let me install it. There you go, it was successful. Now if I go to the device, you can see the app is over here. Now if you look at this app, uh, you can see that, uh, you know, it, it is basically like a CTF app, which means uh, it, it, it clearly says that the key is disabled, right? So the whole exercise, what we are going to do is we are going to reverse this app such that it is going to, um, you know, enable the key for us, right? So that is the whole objective, right? So we have to change this key is disabled to something else right so that uh, and that's when we can say we have cracked this app great so now that we know our uh, final goal what how do we do this right so the whole idea should be uh, we will first take the app and decompile it you know that we can decompile it in different ways right so you already know about we have talked about jrx right so if you take jrx how would we decompile it we would uh, run the command jrx and the cocoon apk right and uh, the decompiled uh, directory and let's call a directory called as cocoon jdx right so there you go it is getting decompiled right now okay the decompiling is done now if i go to cocoon jdx right this is this is basically where you will find the um, you know decompiled source files right so that is one way of doing there's other way of decompiling using the apk tool right now apk tool how would we do it we run the command apk tool uh, then you type in d name of the app which is cocoon right apk dot apk and the output folder being uh, cocoon uh, let's i don't know call this folder as apk tool okay it's still happening yeah that's done so now if you see uh, or let's do lsal right so you can see there are two folders here one is my cocoon apk tool and one is cocoon jrx right now the whole idea we have decompiled the app we are supposed to um, you know edit something in the source code of the app and then recompile it and then install the app once again on the device so that is the whole exercise right um, so how would we do it which one do you want us to pick up so i would pick up the apk tool one right so we have decompiled it and we have decompiled using two different decompilers one is jrx and one is the apk tool uh, but since we have to recompile it back so i will basically take the apk tool because in apk tool we can do both the decompiling as well as compiling right so i'm going to take the apk tool version of it okay so let's go inside this folder and let's try to find uh, apk tool so if you do a ls you will find a folder called as smally right so let's go inside smally Okay, let's go inside COC. Let's go inside on. And there you go. So we have some files here, right? There you go. So this uh, is a list of files. Now let's pick uh, the cocoon.smiley, right? Or probably r.smiley. I'm not sure. Let me just do a cat for now. If I do cocoon.smiley is uh, let me check is this the one which i really want yeah this is the one right so take the file which is cocoon.smiley and uh, now if you read if you go through this file you will see that um, you know uh, this is basically the source code right um, and anyone with simple programming knowledge will understand what are we trying to do here okay so you can see clearly 
about the value of value 0 is being written into a register which is available which is v0 right the value of 0 is getting written into that this value is then written into key val right so this value is get then written getting into written into key val um, over here right then you can see let me scroll down to show key okay so let's scroll down to your now i've highlighted this piece here so what's happening here again the value of uh, <coughs> key val is read into uh, uh, you know v7 right over here the value of key val is re read into v7 and the value of 1 is written into v8 right and finally we are basically comparing if v7 and v8 are equal right so that's the whole thing being done so clearly one of since we are writing 1 into v8 the v8 is going to have a value of 1 and v7 will have a value of 0 because v7 basically got the value from key val and key val earlier had the value of 0 right so that's what we did earlier up here right over here in this piece of the code right so what happened is that over here you know v7 basically has a value of 0 and v8 has a value of 1 which means they are not equal right and as a result the condition 1 is going to be executed right and the condition 1 basically tells that uh, you know you you have to print the key as uh, not disabled uh, key as disabled right because it is not equal right because it is not equal the key is basically printed as disabled so that is the whole logic behind this whole app right so now in order to reverse it what we will do basically is we are going to uh, change the value right from 0 to 1 which means we are going to change the value in, which is being sent over here right into the v0 we are going to change from 0 to 1 so by doing this what happens right v7 and v8 becomes equal and as a result right uh, you know we will basically end up having the key being printed and not uh, this particular text which is printed over here right so let me show you i think you will understand better as i do this so let me go inside the editor right so i've gone here so let me just go and change uh, this value over here right so the value which is getting returned to v0 i'm going to change from 0 to 1 right so that's done let me write this out and let me exit this okay so that is good so we have this file cocoon.smali and inside which we have edited it right so now we have the whole uh, decompiled source code which means we have to compile it back only then we'll be able to install this app right so how do you compile this so let me go out a bit let me go more out sorry and a bit more as well great so so i'm in this direction directory right now so what do i do is um, i run the apk tool again but i'm going to not compile this decompile i'm going to build it so i'm going to do build then the folder name just go on and uh, um cocoon apk tool right and then go to the outside folder output folder and the name of the app which is going to be new cocoon right dot apk so there you go i built the app right but just building the app would not be sufficient right so which means uh, let's check if the app has been created once do we have the app yeah so we have the app called new cocoon.apk but like i said just creating the app or just creating a apk is not sufficient we have to sign it right and we have learned how to sign it earlier right so let's sign this uh, how do we sign this we know the command which is going to use the jar signer right so this is going to be the command so it's jar signer verbose um, the md5 with rsa the algorithms you need to mention the digest is sha1 the key store which i created earlier in my earlier video you can check how to create a key store i'm going to use the same key store the name of the app which you want to sign and the alias name which you used while creating the signature so i'm going to uh, press enter over here enter the passphrase which was android and the jar is signed right so now the jar is signed 
which means uh, the app is ready to be installed right pretty good so what do I do first let me go and uninstall the app which is over here right so let me uninstall it from here directly this time so I can go here app info and I can click on uninstall right so there you go I installed the older version of the app now I'm going to send this new version so which is adb install and it's new cocoon right there you go that was successful now let's see if the uh, logic has changed there you go so earlier if you remember what was appearing over here it was key is disabled right but just because I changed the source code I changed the logic in the source code and I recompiled the file and I signed it and I installed this app you know you can see the app is broken now or basically it has been cracked and this is basically how you do any kind of reverse engineering when it comes to uh, Android apps all right um, so it all involves in decompiling the app playing with the source code compiling it back signing it and then install it uh, installing it back on the device okay hope you got that um, do tune in for more videos on this thank you